Hello everyone. Um, wish you a very, very happy new year, 2021. I know, I know it's too late. It's 17 days into the new year and I'm wishing you now, but hey, it's better now than never, isn't it? It's better late than never. I just want to share with you um, today on what's on my heart for this 2021 and please bear with me I'm not great at making videos but um, I really felt like I have to make this video and talk um, then typing the words that I felt um, to share today I'd been asking the Lord on um, a word for 2021 um and i thought he's gonna give me something you know great out of the ordinary and of course he did and he told me um 2021 is the year of restoration which was great to hear because of what we all have been go gone through we went through a lot of things in 2021 where we had a very horrible 2020 it was the most unprecedented year human history has ever expected. Well, at least in my lifetime. We did learn a lot of things, but there were lots of scars. There was a lot of losses. There was a lot of disappointments. And there was a lot of frustrations. And we must admit, just because we have progressed from 2020 to 2021, it's not going to go away because the things that we experience in life take time to heal. So the law was telling me, um, yes, it is a year of restoration, but I want you to do something. He said, I want you to work in partnership with me for the restoration of the abundant life that I have for you. So he gave me these four words that I really want to share with you and I hope and believe and I pray that you will take this to your heart. He said, do not look back. That is the key to your restoration. He reminded me, um, you know, of the words from um, the chapter, the story in, um, of Sodom and Gomorrah in um, Genesis chapter 19. He reminded me of Lot's wife who looked back and lost her life. There was a situation in Sodom and Gomorrah and when Lot prayed, God showed his grace. God specifically told them in Genesis chapter 19 verse 17, flee for your lives and the instruction he gives them is don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the pillar flee to the mountains or you will be swept away and what did lot's wife do she did exactly what the lord said not to do the lord said do not look back and she looked back she lost her life I wonder how many times we do that. We have clear instructions of what not to do. And then we end up doing exactly that. And then we blame God for the chaos of the mess we are in. Yes, 2020 definitely has lots to it. And if we keep looking back to the scars, the losses it's not easy to let go especially in the loss of loved ones I get that businesses relationships whatever that might be but the Lord is saying if you keep looking back to what happened before there is no way that he can lay a foundation for the path to rebuild and restore things in your life. I want to share something with you. 
I had a really, really difficult week this week. There were some bad choices I made and it worked in a, the devil worked in a perfectly sequenced way. He didn't bring in the attack just like that. It was, it started with something small. And the moment I let sin into my life, Satan came with a whole baggage of stuff which had things from the past, which had accusations, which had frustrations, which had thought I had dealt with. And slowly and slowly and progressively and progressively, he got me to a point this week, by weekend, I was in a situation where I started doubting my faith. Now, I'm a born-again believer. I believe Jesus died for my sins. I know he's alive. I know he answers prayers. But yet, I find myself in this deep valley. Have you ever had that experience? And I didn't know how to get out of it. I was in my deepest, darkest valley. When I went to church this morning, that was the best decision I could do today. And I'm so grateful for the Lord to give me the strength, the right frame of mind to at least go to church today. And I was, the service was done. I sat there and told the Lord, I'm not going anywhere. What am I supposed to do? I feel like I'm in a garbage. I feel like I am in a mess. What do I do? And I don't like to be here. And I don't like to stay in the garbage. But I don't know what to do. I, w I didn't want to get out of the church because I was scared of the thoughts that would come to my mind. When I come out of church, I thought I was scared and I was fearful of the attack it's going to give me on my mind, bringing up things from the past. And I told the Lord, Lord, I need your help. I need you to help me. I sat there um, giving justification to where I was, what I was doing, and how this person did that, that person did that. So I was giving justification for why I was there. Of the circumstances that caused this, the people that caused this, the situations that made me make that choice. I was telling God, look God, this has all happened and that's why I'm here. And what am I supposed to do? And he told me, You know, when you're in the garbage, he gave me a different perspective to think about. He said, it doesn't matter how you ended up in the garbage, whether someone pushed you or if you fell in there by mistake. What matters the most for your life is for you to choose to get out of the garbage. So he said, you need to choose to get up you need to choose to shake it up and you need to choose to step forward. That is the way that you can get out of that garbage. But if you stay in the garbage, you're gonna keep stinking and you're gonna keep stinking and stinking. And that's not the life that God wanted us to live in abundantly in this world. So I want to encourage you today, 
I might not have all the answers for the problems that you're facing for, you know, whatever you went through in 2020, but I want to encourage you today that if you feel like you're in a garbage, if you feel like you're in a mess that no possible man on earth or woman on earth can get you out of, I want to encourage you that, to encourage you to get up. I want to encourage you to shake it off and I want you to encourage to make an effort to step forward. That will be the first step for the restoration of your life that the Lord has promised for you. He has great things for you. He has great things for me. But don't lose the battle in your deepest valley. Because Satan attacks strategically. And we cannot do this battle alone. We need the strength of the Lord. And I want to leave you with this promise for this year as well. God tells us from Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. I really like the Passion Translation. Uh, it goes this way. Do not yield to fear, for I am always with you. Never turn your gaze from me, for I am your fruitful God. Sorry, faithful God. And I will help you in every situation. I will hold you firmly with my righteous and victorious right hand. So just remember, you're not alone. 2020 might be a lot of things and we don't even know what 2021 holds for us, but nothing can stop us from reaching out to the promises that God has for us. And the first step is for us is to make a choice to get up Make a choice to shake it off and make a choice to step forward. And remember, while you do all these things, to not look back. The God wants you to have your eyes fixed on him. When you fix the eyes on him, you look up and you look forward. Let this 2021 be a great year of restoration for us as we partner with God and build our lives together for the glory of his kingdom. God bless everyone. Bye.